Question number 14. Solution by scale drawing is not accepted. Okay. Diagram 6 shows a quadrilateral point E is the intersection point of straight line A, C and B, D. Okay. Now the question, what they're asking for. Is given that area of triangle ABC, so this is ABC here, is equal to the area of BCD. So BCD is here. So these two triangles are the same. Next, what else they say? AE is 4CM, so from here to here is 4CM. And then ABC is 143, ABC is here, 143. And then BCD, where is BCD? BCD is here, is an obtuse angle, okay? Understood? Now, question A, they're asking for BCD. So they want you to find BCD. Now, since they said the area is the same, we can use the area formula, okay? So triangle um, ABC should be equal to triangle BCD, right? So what's the formula for triangle? 1 over 2, we can use uh, A, B, sine C. So one point, eh, sorry, 2.8 times 3 sine 143. Okay, that's the first part. Here is one. Here 2.8 times 3 cm times sine 143. Okay, that's the first part here. Equals to the second triangle now which is BCD, which is 1 over 2, uh, 3CM, times 3.6. Sorry, I got no space here. Maybe I shouldn't write here. Mm, okay, wait, give me a minute. Okay, I'm going to write below here so that we can see clearly. So the second triangle is 1 over 2, times 3CM, times 3.6, sine. Uh, we are looking for BAC, right? So I put here theta first. Lah. Okay, so this one is theta. So now, what do you notice? Here got 1 over 2, here's got 1 over 2, so you can cut. Here got 3cm, here's got 3cm, you can cut. So, since we are looking for theta, we know that sine theta equals to, so this 3.6 3 I can shift to the other side. So I should have 2.8 sine 143 divided by 3.6. Okay. So from here, don't forget this is trigonometry, yeah. So we have to find the reference angle first. Okay, so the reference angle, okay, wait, before that, let me write here. The reference angle is going to be, uh, you just sign inverse and then whatever you get here. Lah, okay, type in your calculator, you get the answer. So you, the reference angle should be 27.91 degree. Okay, so now with that being said, we know that this is a sine uh, sine theta, right? So sine is in which quadrant? First quadrant and second quadrant, right? Because this one here, when you calculate, it's going to be a positive value. So the only quadrant which has positive sine is first and second. So because of that, you have two answers. So that means theta can either be 27.91 or it can be the second quadrant would be 180 minus 27.91, which is 152.09. Okay, so from here, we should know what is the answer. The answer should be this 152.09 because it's a obtuse angle. See, the question states there, BCD is an obtuse angle. So this is the answer. This one you can ignore. Okay, 27.91 is not the answer. Huh? So answer is this. B, C, D. Okay, that's the first one. Next question, the second one. Find the length of C, E. Where is C? C, E is here. Okay, before we can find C, E, we must first find the entire length first. A, C. Okay, we find the entire length minus the 4 cm here. So what can we do to find the entire length? We can use cosine root. We can use this triangle here use cosine root because we have this length we have this length and we also have this angle so we can use cosine rule to find AC so AC is equals to 
square root 2.8 square plus 3 square minus 2 times 2.8 times 3 and then uh, cos 143. So, I yeah, no space, so I'm going to write here cos 143. Okay, square root the whole thing. Huh? Sorry, I got no space, so I'm writing like this. Okay, so just straight away key this into your calculator. You should get your answer 5.5 cm. Now you're looking for a sorry e c e c e will be 5.5 minus 4 cm. So your answer is 1.5 cm. Okay, that is c e. Next, you want to find for B E. So the third part. Okay, wait. Uh, let me label. This is question. First question. This is the second question. And this is the third question. Okay. Now we want to find B E. Where is B E? B E is here. Now to find B E, right? What you what we can do is we can use this triangle. Let me see this one here. Okay. We can we got this length here, we got this length, but we need at least one more angle here for us to find BE, correct? So we have to do one step before that to find the uh, BE. We have to find this angle first. So what can we do to find that angle? Let me think. Um we can use sign. We can use sign rule, yeah. We can use the entire triangle here. Okay. This length, wait, uh, let me think. Uh, d, 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 yeah, this, um, okay, yeah, because we have already found CE, right? Just now we have already found CE here. This length and this angle is one pair, and then 3CM with this angle would be another pair, okay? So we can use sign rule to find uh, angle BAC, okay? We find that angle first. Angle. B A C over um so sorry what am I writing sine B A C sine angle B A C over three C M equals to sine one four three over A C where is A C just now we found A C right where is A C five point five So you can bring this over and then shift sign, you will get your answer is angle BAC equals to 19.16 degree. Okay, 19.16 degree. So now you found here, this angle is 19.16. Okay, now with that, we can use, um, are we going to use cosine again? Yeah, we're going to use cosine again. We use cosine again to find this, okay? But this time, we're only using this triangle, huh? the smaller triangle. So, BE, okay, let me see where I can write. BE is going to be equals to square root, cosine rule. Huh? So, 2.8 square plus 4 square minus 2 BC, 2.8 times 4 cos... 19.16 okay key this into your calculator straight away you get your answer is 1.6375 cm now let's look at the last part question b now question b okay this one is something quite a common one okay wait sketch the triangle a prime b prime c prime which has a different shape from triangle a b c such that a prime c prime equals to a c so that means a prime c prime okay so this length is going to be the same okay the length has to be fixed huh? and then they said b prime c prime equals to b c b prime c prime equals to b c and angle b prime a prime c prime okay is equals to bac so that means this angle here this angle b b prime a prime c prime 
equals to BAC. So that means this angle is fixed. 19.16, this angle here, is fixed. You cannot change it. Okay, this angle is fixed. Huh? So if you know that this angle is fixed, that means I cannot change this, I cannot change this, correct? Because the moment I change, if I put somewhere here, I will get a different angle. Or if I change this line, I will get a different angle. So since I can't move these two, so the only thing I can move is this, right? This A, this BC here. So what I can do is, I can act, draw another line here, extend this, draw a line here. Because they never say that AB cannot change, right? They never say anything about AB cannot change. So I can actually extend this line and make sure that this is 3CM, here also 3CM. Okay, I hope you can see what I'm writing here. So this line, basically, I'm shifting it here. Okay, because they say here cannot change length, so I have to make sure when I draw this, it's also 3CM. Clear? So that means here originally is A becomes A prime. Here originally is C becomes C prime. Now my B is no longer here. My B is still here, correct? But the B prime is going to be here. This is the new point. Clear? I hope you understand what I'm drawing here. So, okay, let me redraw lah, so that everyone understands. Uh, give me a minute. Okay. So, what is going to happen is, originally it's like this. A bit. This is the original one. Okay, here is 3cm. Here is 4cm. And then this angle here is 19.16. Okay, they said here is A, here is B, here is C. They told you that, they told you that this angle here cannot change, this length cannot change, and this length cannot change. Okay, so since, okay, we can forget about the length first. They said this angle has to be fixed, correct, cannot change. So what you can, what, what, that's, what that means is, you cannot change these two lines. Okay. Because if you change, the angle will change. So the only thing you can move is this guy. Correct? Now, but since this they said here 3cm, so that means what I can do is I can extend this line here and draw the triangle here. So here will also be 3cm. Clear? So that I actually didn't change my... This length I never change because it's still 3cm. Okay? So here will be my new uh, angle B, la, B prime. Okay, so that's how I fulfill all three uh, conditions. So this is my question B, I. Okay, so this one done. That's it. Here's your B prime. Next question. Okay, the second one here. They ask you to state the size of A prime, B prime, C prime. So they want A prime, B prime, C, this, this angle. They want this angle. What is this angle? Now, since these two lengths are the same, we can say they are isosceles, right? So here is also the same as, if here is x, here so is x. Okay, they are basically the same. So how are we going to find x? Well, we know this angle, right? This angle was given in the question just now. Eh? A, B, C is 1, 4, 3. Here is 1, 4, 3. And we know that we extended this line, so it's a straight line. So that means angle B, uh, sorry, angle A prime b prime c prime is equals to 180 minus 143 so your answer is 37 so this angle is 37 all right 